card number 13. I want you. I want you to enlist for the USA. This has got to be the soldiers all addicted coming back from Vietnam to heroin. The war comes home. GI Junkies, card number 13. GI Junkies. As a result of the of allying with Southeast Asian heroin dealers in the fight against communism, the US government created an epidemic of heroin addiction among American troops in Vietnam. At first, this was a minor problem as only low-grade heroin was being produced in the Golden Triangle. But in 1969, Chinese chemists went to Laos and began producing high-grade number four heroin. As a cover for, for purchasing the chemicals used in the process, Chinese gangster Hu Tim Hing built a Pepsi-Cola bottling plant in Vien, Vien Chien, Laos, with money supplied by the U.S. Agency for International Development, wow, an official arm of the CIA, CIA, Heng's heroin was distributed by the smuggling apparatus of then Vice President Young Kao Kai. The heroin was flown to uh, Saigon by the South Vietnamese Air Force and sold by dealers, many of them teenage girls at stands outside U.S. military bases. By 1971, 10 to 15% of low-ranking enlisted men were hooked. Wow! GIs began shipping heroin to the U.S., some going so far as to cut open the bodies of dead soldiers and stuffing them with up to 50 pounds of heroin per corpse. Between 1965 and 1972, the number of heroin addicts in the United in the States soared from 150,000 to 560,000. Right. Keep in mind, in the previous card, we read that it was originally 10,000, and then soared to 150,000. Now it soared to 560,000. In 1973, then President Nixon formally wrote off 2,000 missing GIs as dead when in fact many were POWs captured in secret wars in Laos and Cambodia. In the 1980s, British spy master Sir William Stevenson and Texan billionaire H. Ross Perot wow, wow, investigated the fate of these men. They concluded at least 20 were still alive, wow, but found their search blocked by American intelligence officers still involved in heroin trafficking oh my god this is ross perot right h ross perot that ran for president in the 1990s right so in the late in the 1980s he did an investigation with british spy master sir william stevenson and found out what american oligarchs and the american government was doing which was not releasing the information of the 2,000 soldiers that were classified as POW, 20 of which that were still alive. Oh my God. I'll bet you a million bucks that this is never taught in any American history class anywhere in the United States of America. And you can find it on trading cards released by an independent comic book company called eclipse comics and you could order it in an ad they had on there in a comic book that they released that's called real war stories number two i'll say it again if you want to know history if you want to know what's going on in the world get your hands on independent comic books and some of the mainstream comic books and you will learn more history more facts as to what is going on in the world 
in comic books than you will get out of any history class in the Western world in school. End of story. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. I had no idea Ross Perot looked into this stuff.